boy today it is overcast the wind's blowing we're actually getting to do a little bit of basketball practice <laughs> Swoosh. it's in there he starts football practice tonight i don't know if you're a football player or not what do you think what do you think think you gonna like it why signed up for the girls to like me. <laughs> this boy loves basketball. Uh-oh, right into the crepe myrtle. I want to show you Michael's flowers here in a few minutes. He's done good. We got Riley out here. Got the other two boys inside. Got them drinking water today. It's hard to ring that with being filmed, you know? Wow, there you go. Great recovery. Okay, let's do some looking at flowers. Look at his limelights. How gorgeous. But I want you to see this crepe myrtle. This is a color that you don't... Swish, swish, swish. This is a color you don't see very often. And I am so jealous that his is blooming so good. But mine's blooming some. But I want one this color. But I asked y'all yesterday, do you have crepe myrtles in the north? I don't know. See, they make these little things, and when we were little, we'd, we'd take these and we'd mash the flower, Alice, if I can do it. That one's so, yeah, well, it, it just kind of mashed it. But when they get to where they're almost fixing to bloom, mash is such a southern word. I did it! I did it! Good job, All right. Do I need to turn around? Oh, yeah, see how you can push the flower out? Now I'll stop the warm-up again. Okay. Okay, so his limelight, he's turning the radio back on. His, um, mm hmm, that. You know, when you get out here and try to, Lantana, when you get out here and try to, I want you to look how gorgeous that thing is. It is overcast. They got them a gate put up this weekend. You have to punch a number in, a lot better security. Not that they've had any problems, but still hibiscus his mother has these and these are the kind that come back every year those are doing good elephant ears are doing good it's like his hosta has gotten burnt up probably too hot on this side of the house for a hosta live and learn his um that's my grandmother's hydrangea looks like it may be a little hot over here for that too riley's enjoying it with me Elephant ears are prospering. Day lilies. Limelights love it. We went in a big subdivision um, in Birmingham. I think it was Friday evening that we love. It's called the Preserve. If I was going to live anywhere in Birmingham, that's where I'd live. And limelights almost in every yard. And so when I go home this afternoon, I'm going to show you our flowers. Lantana. I see my Lantana comes back every year too. So I like the way he's bunched the two colors together. But are those limelights not gorgeous? Riley is enjoying this running. Oh, she's loving being outside. And then he's got just his evergreens, you know, planted in here too. That looks like a hibiscus, but everything's already bloomed. And his roses, he cut them all back and they've already bloomed again. Another beautiful limelight. These things will show out. Don't you look at that thing? No, wait, that, is that different? It looks like it's more of a cone shape. Maybe it's just bigger blooms. Might be on the side that it is, but it's gorgeous. Now, I love these. We had these at one time and John doesn't like them because they're very invasive. But I like them, and I told him I wanted to get me some more. And what's the name of them? 
Kyle, y'all, when I get out here with flowers, oh, look how cloudy it is. Maybe we're going to get some much needed rain today. But the breeze out here right now feels great. Uh, cannas. Cannas. But they are invasive. I mean, he's just planted these this year, so he's going to have to, um, you know, keep a, a, a touch on them. So, but he's just got so much area. We don't have this much. And there's a pink crepe. And then, I'm not sure what that is, but this is his butterfly bush. This thing is massive. He's probably going to have to trim it back. And he gave John one for Father's Day. John's working so much on his K5. He has really not worked in the yard much this year, but look at the butterflies around this thing. Can you see all of them darting in and out? They are loving it. Look here. It is definitely a butterfly bush. Look at them. They're all over the place. Look at that pretty little yellow one. I get close to them, they move. Another limelight, which is doing tremendous. This is the Confederate rose, Confederate jasmine, I mean, that we gave him. He's got that climbing up, hit trailing. Beautiful backyard. I think the boys planted some kind of vegetables in those barrels. I'm not real sure. Riley, you step here with step here with Gingan. Hydrangeas have kind of <clears throat> done their thing. His rose is back here though. <laughs> they are gorgeous. Look at this. Showing out. I mean, he's done a fantastic job. I'm really, you know, for a young man to put this much work. Now, he's got something planted here that's already grown up around this post. That may be a rose. What, babe? Okay, that's fine. And uh, then another pink uh, crepe here. But look at these rose bushes, the size of them. Those are the knockouts. Aren't they beautiful? They don't smell. I don't know what that is back there, but I love the dark cannas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me some of those next year. So the heat, you can tell the heat has been so intense this summer. Been one of the hottest summers I ever remember, especially because usually it's this hot, like August, July, August, September, something like that. But it's been so hot just from the beginning. And then he's got like an oak leaf hydrangea. And I believe that's a blueberry. Yeah, that's a blueberry plant there. So you can tell hydrangeas are suffering. We need some good rain today. But he's done really good. Look how beautiful, just looking back at that. Look how lush and beautiful. And that's in the dead heat of summer. So I'm really proud of all the work and the interest he's had in it. This lantana, See, there's a climbing rose, but I believe that's what he's got. This lantana is showing out. Elephant ears are doing good. And this boy is working so hard. So hard. They start back to school in a few weeks. Hi, let's go. Today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. No clouds in the sky, but again, the way feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, man. All the stress and doubt. Honey, it don't matter, shots Till I drop, drop, gonna be 24 7 golden hour like a boss. And they say, yo, guess you got a two o'clock appointment for a champagne shop for you. Yeah. I'm busy trying to take you higher, got no time for never, only spending cheddar. Wish I could do this forever. Chilling with the hottest company, they all wanna welcome me to their private penthouse suite. Yeah, now I got the key. Rooftop pool, got a heli on speed. Well, I'm back home from keeping the boys today. 
And if you think Michael's limelights are pretty, I want you to look at ours. <laughs> They're massive. Are they not gorgeous? They turn, they've already turned their magnificent white and then they take on a greenish hue before um, before they start dying out. We've had such a terrible dry summer. And um, I think around the US there's either flooding or there's dryness. When I show you my crepe myrtle, this is the most blooms that it's had on it. John doesn't like the way he says it's trying to split up in the top. John is a tree fanatic. If it doesn't do just right, he'll replace it. He'll replace it. So I don't know. I love the dark red one, but whites are my favorite. But this year they haven't seen, but at least I am getting a few blooms out of them. Black Eyed Susans are showing out, are they not? Is that not gorgeous? I love them, just love them. Planted those last year and they've just come back with an abundance. And we didn't do as many pots. That's John's um, butterfly bush that we've got to get. But we, um, the pots, I don't know what this is. John said we had some of it last year, but honest to goodness, I don't remember it. But the, um, like the um, wingtip begonias that were so huge year before last, they just not done anything this year. This little stuff I love, it's just a filler. I just think the heat has been so intense. And then also they're close to this concrete. Lantana shows out every year. This is what I'm talking about. If you want a great plant that will come back every year, get you some lantana. Is it not beautiful? Um, I can't remember if I showed you these ruffled um, daylilies, but man, they have shown out. This pot is absolutely gorgeous. We bought this pot already put together. Let me see before I step in here, make sure I'm not gonna step on a snake. Because that would be heart attack, Bill. Is this not gorgeous? These pots were very expensive, but the day that we went, they had them buy one, get the other one half price. So that's been a good investment this year. That's been a good investment. And then we bought that one there. And I don't know, this thing's gorgeous. John hates it because it's so heavy. And I can understand that. But this has just died. I don't know. You can see it's got some new growth back here. So I don't know if the heat's been too intense. But even, look at these. I don't, if you've been with me for a while, we planted ourselves the wingtip begonias last year. And they were huge. So... John's been faithfully watering all of these. This was another one. But you can see they're just burnt looking. They're still beautiful. But they are burnt. And I'm trying to think what he's got in this pot right here. But the, the Confederate Jasmine is... Um, look at these. These have not even grown. It's crazy. We usually have such good luck. But look how beautiful that thing is. John says, I hate it because he has to move it to the basement. He says, I hate that thing. And I know he does because it's so big. But you see what I said about Michael having so much. We have a lot yard. Of course, I mean, it doesn't compare to Michael's. I don't want that much yard. Okay, I hate to show you this. These were geraniums. Geraniums are usually so hardy and they just died. There again, I don't know if it was sitting there. Let me go up here. These are still blooming. They close up at night. They haven't totally, well, they have pretty much closed up. But these have done really good. They're just in full bloom in the mornings. And I love them. Sometimes we put geraniums in that. We've put caladiums in that. But I just don't, uh, 
I don't understand the geraniums. They've just died. Got one little sprout trying to take, just need to do away with those. And of course the hydrangeas have already um, gone through their beautiful stage. But look at them when they, when they dry. Now there's one that's a late bloomer, and this is the way they are in the spring and the first part of the summer. But look how gorgeous those colors are. They're wet right now, but I need to come out tomorrow when they're dry and cut some of these because what a beautiful fall color, that green with a hint of lavender on it. This is my mama Rogers, my mama's hydrangea bush. And then this over here is mostly just greenery. It's, it's really shown out. That's the lace cap. Let's see, you can see more of the blooms. They have that in the middle and then the lace cap, but that's just so full through there. Then you have my Confederate Rose and it will bloom in September. This was a lady from our church. It's gone on to be with the Lord. That was her plant. And then we've got all this salvia that I told you before came from petals from the past and you have to thin it out. That right there going up is, I'm pretty sure, some of my mother's trumpet vine because John had a little pot of it. So, but then he redid the hydrangea here. Of course, they've, they've seen, you know, I'm waiting late to show you this part. I think I did. If not, I'll put pictures in here. And then he's got a bucket of elephant ears there. But you can see the salvia just grows. Now he'll come in here eventually with a lawnmower and just push back and he'll cut that salvia or the frost will get it. We, we rarely ever use these steps going up to the porch. So he's just let them grow. grow. Now John's been very involved. Oh, there's my hosta down there. He's been very, very involved in restoring his K5. So there's a lot of days he's going all day working on it, but that's okay what retirement's supposed to be. Out there, I have a hydrangea that was just brilliant white, and it has turned back green now. So, uh, we've had different flowers through the years more. These are the azaleas. They bloom in the spring, and they'll put on another bloom. They're, um, the plant itself has grown really good. I think, <laughs> just, can't believe I got these dead ones. I think that our flowers are not as beautiful as they've been in the past, but I think one thing, I still think this is a gorgeous little area. And uh, of course, you know, if you've been with me for very long, you know the boys love this for a basketball court, and it's not a basketball court at all. <laughs> when we poured the concrete for the driveway, we went ahead and poured part of the walls for John's garage. He had already expected to have the garage built, but those boys love it for a basketball court. But I just told him you're just going to put the basketball thing on the outside of the garage later. So uh, that's the reason we have so much concrete here. So the way our house is sitting on the road, we don't have the all the way around like Michael does, so we don't have as many flowers. But I think the ones that are doing good are gorgeous. And I think this little area looks very beautiful. Love the Black Eyed Seasons. Love the limelights. Is that not gorgeous? Just beautiful. You have to tie them back when they get this big. And he may even cut them back some next year. But as you can see, he's got them tied back in places. He puts these stakes up and he ties them because they just fall over with the rain. So this way it holds them up and they're prettier. Anyway, it's been a full day of keeping boys and they've gone to their first football practice tonight. <laughs> I don't know how they have room to do one more thing, but uh, they're going to attempt it. We'll see. We go to state swim competition this weekend. I'll be taking you along with us. It is a very, very far shot that the boys will place, but it's an honor for them to get to compete. So anyway, 
hope you've enjoyed this little view. I just thought I would come out here as soon as I got home and show you our shot of our flowers. Talk to you later. Bye.